is officially sworn into office today, but a couple of protesters interrupted it. They asked Mayor Ted Wheeler to stop the homeless sweeps in the city. And tonight he is taking some action on that subject. Yeah, he announced the Portland building will open as a place for the homeless to go to get out of the cold. But was it needed? And did they get the word out soon enough? Our Cole Miller is live and has more now. Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. Those are both good questions. As of right now, only about a dozen people staying here. The room they've set up at the Portland building, it's able to hold about 90 people. And earlier tonight, a staffer with Mayor Ted Wheeler's office telling me they could have done a better job getting the word out there that this place is open. The Portland building opening its doors tonight to those out in the cold on relatively short notice. I'd say in the grand scheme of things, it's rather quick. Uh, our partners at the city and, and Multnomah County were working throughout the day to coordinate with each other. Stacy Bork with Transition Projects, the group staffing the effort alongside city volunteers, says getting the word out to those on the streets is key. So we rely on 211. We rely on outreach staff that are going to camps, that are talking to people who are outside and otherwise unsheltered. And over the last few nights, I'm told other shelters have been at or over capacity, and having this as another option makes a huge difference. It's critical. What we've seen is uh, an increase in demand of gear from the people that we're serving. Um, so people that need gear, they're not equipped to, to be outside with temperatures that are in the single digits. And we know that this is life-saving work. Another cold night, that's for sure. Now the Portland building, it is going to be open until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And it is possible that if this severe weather continues, which it looks like it will, the building here could be open both tomorrow and Friday. Live tonight in downtown Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Yeah, we'll be checking in on that tomorrow. Cole, thank